Joining me now is Chris Doring, a standout Gator receiver from the mid-90s. And Chris, talk about the Florida Players Network. I know you're very involved in getting it started. What's it all about? Well, you know, this is the third year that we've been able to have this uh, weekend in conjunction with the Orange and Blue game and all. I'm really uh, have had an opportunity to create some momentum over the last three years and trying to not only gather a, a group uh, setting for guys to reconnect regardless of the years at Florida, but also to um, try to raise some money to help tonight. This is for the Boys and Girls Club. We're also trying to raise money to uh, help some of the destitute and players uh, that are sick. I think we've got some, some great uh, missions, some great goals, but still trying to continue to get guys involved in the community's awareness as well. It's big for the the Gator football community. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives us a chance to reconnect and really touch base with each other from life after college, so right. to say. So everybody who has uh, something good going on, you know, we're able to connect back with other guys and really just build a bond and, and, and help each other out in, in a sense. There have been a lot of great running backs to the History University of Florida, but you know what? Only one got to 4,000 yards. He's right here. E Eret, Eric doing, Red. Man? Great Thank to you. see you, man. Thank you so much. It's so great to be back in Gator Nation. It's just wonderful to be here. I know you were excited this fall. Now, you got to be Mr. Two Bits. Yes, yes. I yes, thought yes. you heard you might have pulled something. No, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> I jumped so high up in the air. I tell you, I put everything into that two bits. I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and. It, it was just perfect. You know, I, I loved it and the energy was so there. We just got to continue that energy this year mm -hmm. and we're going to be special. I'm excited. You had four great years with the Gators plus a red shirt year. Talk about, as you look back on your career, is there a game, is there a moment that that, that was the one? Well, you, you, you know, every day was the moment. It's right. just like so many people looking forward to the Saturdays. Me, every single day putting on that uniform right there, going to practice. Now one day was taken for granted. And came Saturday, we expected great things. And that's what we have to do this year. We have to expect a lot of great things. Come Saturday, we supposed to win, especially in our home. So I expect to see some great, great plays tomorrow and let it just transition right on over. When you were getting ready to leave Florida, there was a young running back named Fred Taylor coming yes. in yes. to take your place. Yes. What's it like now watching Fred Taylor's son, Kelvin? One of us is getting older. I know we're getting very old. And I look <laughs> back on it and say, wow, the guy came in back of me. His son is actually playing it right now. And you know, it's Kelvin, he's a special player. Mm -hmm. He was special in high school. He broke every national record. All of Emmitt Smith was shattered those records. So I can't imagine, you know, he knows the system well now. He's comfortable. This offense is spread open for him. Man, we, we, we're expecting so much out of this young kid. And, you know, all of the backs. And I know that they got to catch the ball this year. So they're playing this offense, you got to know how to catch. So I'm always. I'm always, I love to see backs that can run, block, and catch. They're not just one dimensional. So with this system I hear that, these guys are gonna have a lot of fun.